Hey, Pat McLaughlin here from SnareDrumTV.com. This is episode 31. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to improve your buzz rolls by working on buzz roll uh, rhythmic basses and skeletons. If you haven't watched the first part of the buzz roll tutorial, be sure to go back to episode 30 and check out the first part of the buzz roll tutorial. Uh, if you want free snare drum sheet music for this exercise, simply head over to snaredrumtv.com, find episode 31, and underneath that video is a big button that you can click on that will take you straight to the snare drum sheet music for this buzz roll exercise. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. This exercise uh, has multiple steps to it, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is establish a rhythmic bass and then apply buzz rolls to it, okay? This will help you... Uh, put a meter, more or less, to your buzz roll so that whenever you play a buzz roll, you know exactly how many uh, wrist strokes you're going to make before you come back in or before uh, you move on to the next segment of what you're playing, okay? So it's a really good way to pace yourself and uh, to better understand exactly what you're doing when you're playing a buzz roll, more or less, okay? So for the first part of this exercise, we're simply going to play a measure of quarter notes followed by a measure of quarter notes with buzz rolls on them, right? So again, the rhythmic bass of the buzz roll does not change. It's, it's still a rhythmic bass of a quarter note, okay? So therefore, we're going to make one primary stroke with our wrist, uh, but it's going to have multiple rebounds to create the buzz uh, sound, okay? So I'm going to do four measures. First measure will be straight quarter notes. Second measure will be quarter notes with buzz rolls on them, third measure will be straight chord notes, and the fourth measure will be chord notes with buzz rolls on them. Okay? So here we go. You can go ahead and play along if you want to. This is 70 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. I'm still at about three inches or so, uh, just making this nice and comfortable, allowing the stick to rebound as many times as it wants to before I have to come back in, okay? So that's the first step of this exercise. Practice that, get comfortable with that, get really used to it. The next step is to practice eighth note uh, rhythmic basses. So now we're going to play a measure of straight alternating sticking eighth notes, followed by a measure of eighth note buzz rolls, then a measure of eighth notes, and then a measure of eighth note buzz rolls, okay? So that'll sound like this. One, two, ready, go. Okay, the next step is to move on to triplets. All right, so again, we're slowly speeding up uh, the frequency of the strokes that we have to make that have buzz rolls on them, okay? So, this is uh, triplets at 70 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. Finally, we're going to move on to 16th notes. So we have a 16th note rhythmic bass and then 16th note buzz rolls. And that'll sound like this. One, two, ready, go. So that's the exercise. You can practice this at any tempo. If you, I recommend you start slow and then gradually work your way up as with any exercise. Uh, but it's a really good idea to go through all these rhythmic bases with as many tempos as you can so that you have a wide variety of, uh, of buzz rolls to pull out you know, and apply them to whatever music you're playing. Um, so if you enjoyed this exercise, Please uh, do Snare Drum TV a quick favor and send along to one of your drummer friends or your drum students or share it with some guys you talk to on a drum forum. Uh, whatever the, make, the case may be, uh, your helping and spreading the word is, a, is, a, is um, greatly appreciated by Snare Drum TV. So, thank you very much for watching and as always, I will see you next time on Snare Drum TV.